Deontay Wilder versus Sierhe Lykovic is going down August 9th. Now, obviously, the Chisora fight fell through, all right? Wilder had, you know, visa issues and legal issues, so he couldn't come over to the UK and fight Chisora. And obviously, Chisora would have been a big step up for him, right? That would have been a big step up for Wilder. Wilder's had 28 fights, but his level of opposition has been terrible. It's been terrible. Now, in this instance, where the Chisora fight fell through, because the Chisora fight was going to be a step up, Chisora would have been by far the best opponent he's ever faced. With that fight falling through, ordinarily, you could say, okay, well, you know, a big fight fell through. Um, so, he, you know, you can understand him not being able to secure a decent opponent as a replacement. But in the case of Wilder's career, his, you know, his, his entire resume is full of weak opponents. All right, so it's it's vital for Wilder to get some decent opposition. You know, it's it's vital for his development as a fighter, and it's vital for for his prospect. Well, actually, no, it's not vital for his prospects of getting a title shot because plenty of fighters have got title shots against the Klitschko's with terrible resumes. But in terms of his development as a fighter, it's vital that he gets some decent competition in there. You know, he's just going in there blowing out all these journeymen in one round, two rounds, three rounds, and stuff like that. It's no good. The best guy he fought, to be honest with you, on his resume um, was a guy called Kelvin Price, who was a novice professional, really. I mean, he was unbeaten at the time, but he was a novi novice professional. He was scared to death when he fought Wilder. Um, and he actually outboxed Wilder for the first couple rounds before Wilder finally caught up with him. In the, uh, was it the second or third round he caught up with him? I can't remember now. But yeah, so he actually outboxed Wilder um, early on in that fight. But And that was the best opponent he faced, an unknown... Uh, novice professional with no amateur background all right and obviously in his last fight he knocked out Audley Harrison in the round so it's vital for Deontay Wilder to get some decent competition and um this matchup here with Sierhe Lykovic is not decent competition all right Lykovic okay he was a former uh WBO champion right he was a former WBO champion but even in his prime he got knocked out by a journeyman, Maurice Harris. Right? This was Lakovic in his prime. Got knocked out by Maurice Harris. He was also stopped by Shannon Briggs. And he lost a decision, a unanimous decision, a wide unanimous decision to Nikolai Valoev. Right? This was several years ago, five, six years ago. And in the, in the last two, three years, he got knocked out by Robert Hellenius. Right? And last year, he got beat on points. Oh, no, actually, sorry. I think he was stopped as well yeah he he, he was stopped by Robert Hellenius uh, a couple years ago and he was stopped last year sorry by Brian Jennings so you know Lakovic is bringing nothing to the table really other than a little bit of a name um, he can punch a little bit but uh, you know he's so washed up he's so over the hill that Wilder this is a no win situation for Wilder he has to win the fight he has to win it impressively I mean apparently there's some bad blood between Deontay Wilder and Bryant Jennings right there's an interview on Bayloric TV and a couple other in interviews I've seen with Wilder where he talks about Jennings and these two for whatever reason don't like each other uh, there's bad blood there but you see Bryant Jennings in his next fight and I'm going to do a video on it so click the link in the description below um, or I'll post a video response to this video Bryant Jennings is going to be fighting Kubrat Pulev in August, the same month that this fight is going down, Wilder against Lakovic, Brian Jennings is going to be fighting Kubrat Pulev, the unbeaten European champion. All right, Brian Jennings has had, I think, 11 less fights than Wilder. Right, I think he turned pro later, but yet he's already fighting a much better level of opposition than Deontay Wilder. Why is that? You know, he already fought Lakovic last year, you know, and stopped him. But yeah, Wilder after 28 fights is, is only just fighting this level of opposition. I mean, I, I don't know how much is down to him being protected and how much is down to uh, Golden Boy not doing a good job of getting him the fights that he needs to develop, you know, develop himself as a fighter. I don't know, you know, which is which. But the fact is, like I said, he needs better fights than this, man. He needs better fights than this. This is, this is a no-win situation. If he wins, he's supposed to win. If he lose, I mean, God forbid he loses, but even if he looks bad 
well, don't stop this guy, they're going to say, well, you know, Jennings managed to stop him, Hellenius managed to stop him, you know, the guy was stopped by Maurice Harris back in the day, Shannon Briggs stopped him, Nikolai Valoev outboxed him, you know, <laughs> it's a poor opponent, man, he's a poor opponent, it's, it's probably the biggest name so far on Wilder's resume, other than maybe Audley Harrison, um, but, you know, in, in, in all reality, it's a poor opponent, so, um, obviously, I'm much more looking forward to Brian Jennings taking on Kubrat Pulev, and like I said, I would I will be uploading a video to that um, So it should be in the video description Or it should be in the video response section Of this video below um, And I'll be uploading it you know, Straight after this one So yeah um, Not really much to say about this fight man Disappointing And I, I, I can understand Obviously the Chisora fight fell through That would have been a much better fight But still You expect Golden Boy to get a better replacement opponent than this you know, you really expect them to do better than this. So, yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this one. This is this is Hatman. I'm out.